good, y'all? Michael here today with another video. Listen. Y'all continue to play me like that, man. I read my comment section. Because y'all keep saying I'm making an excuse for passing on Mahomes and Deshaun Watson. No. I'm right. Because the thing that you have to understand is... Where do I start? Do I, should I go with Mahomes or should I start with Watson? Okay. Mahomes is a... I never called Mahomes trash. I just said he would have been he would be a horrible fit for the Bears. You people act like he go he would go to a different team and make them Super Bowl contenders. Receivers make quarterbacks at the end of the day, and coaching staff also makes quarterbacks. Bro, did you see how the 49ers were literally six and ten with a bunch of randoms playing? Because they have good coaching staff. So at the end of the day, Mahomes, Mahomes doesn't go anywhere and just make them a make any team look like a Super Bowl contender. Okay? And the Bears don't don't have a good offensive line either. The Chiefs offensive line sucked for one day. Imagine Mahomes going to an offensive line that's literally, literally a open door every play. Patrick Mahomes has the worst passer rating in Super Bowl history that's even worse than Rex Grossman's passer rating in the Super Bowl. At least Rex Grossman lost to Peyton Manning in his prime. What was Peyton Manning, like 25? It, it don't even matter because Peyton Manning was the young version where he was an MVP for him. Patrick Mahomes lost to Tom Brady at the age of 43. It, you don't even have to face Brady in his prime where he was the MVP. You have to face old Brady who looks like, who looked trash, who threw checkdowns all game. And because they like Patrick Mahomes, they're going to give him a pass. I'm not trying to hear that. If Mahomes is so great, why does he have the worst passer rating in Super Bowl history? If Jimmy G completes that pass to Sanders... Mahomes has no Super Bowl. Jimmy G completes that pass. Mahomes has no Super Bowl. Prove me wrong. Like, I want to know. Prove me wrong. Jimmy G completes that pass. Mahomes has no Super Bowl. Now that I got the Mahomes stuff. Oh, yeah. And by the way, the division gets harder for the Chiefs. And I know, looking at it on paper, you're going to ask me if I'm drunk. No, I'm not. The Raiders didn't actually have a bad season last year. The Broncos are a quarterback away from being a Super Bowl contender. And the Chargers finally have their quarterback. And I'm going to do a video on them sooner than later saying about how, why I think they're going to make the playoffs after Justin Herbert had that crazy season. It, it doesn't get easier for the Chiefs because you act, you people act like it's going to be easy for the Chiefs. No, it's not. No, it ain't. <laughs> In a couple months from now, you're going to see the AFC West be a competitive division. Okay? That's what you're going to see from now on. Now, I got Mahomes out of the way. Let me get to Deshaun Watson. And I'm just going to say it one time and one time only. If winning matters, then Deshaun Watson is not a top five quarterback. He's not even a top ten quarterback if winning matters. But if winning doesn't matter, then put it in your top five. But the thing is, who are you kicking out? Who are you kicking out of your top five that's actually winning games? That what that is Patrick Mahomes, Brady, uh, Drew Brees, Josh Allen, and Aaron Rodgers. Okay, fuck, fuck Deshaun Watson's monster numbers. 
this dude won four games at the end of the day. And I don't want to. I don't want to hear that he does. He don't have help. He don't have a defense. If Deshaun Watson has those monster numbers, then he should have more than four wins. Okay. F- fuck. Fuck your numbers, man. At the end of the day, are you winning games? Quarterback is a winning position. Winning matters at the end of the day, for quarterbacks. Okay. Because people like Deshaun Watson, they just gonna give him a pass. Not trying to hear it. Oh yeah, and Mitchell Trubisky has a has a better career record than Deshaun Watson. Do I need to bring that up? But oh no, let's let's feel bad for Deshaun Watson. Oh, he goes four and twelve. He goes four and fucking twelve, and his monster numbers count. Not trying to hear that. Are you winning games? Because there are many teams that have terrible receiving cores. And they would want Deshaun Watson's weapons. Will Fuller had monster numbers before he got suspended. Brandon Cooks has been a thousand yard receiver his whole career. Randall Cobb has is the highest paid slot receiver in the league. And why is why are you guys Giving Deshaun Watson a pass for winning four games. Oh, he, you know, Deshaun Watson, you won four games, but we're going to give you a pass because we want you on our team. And, and Deshaun Watson is the best quarterback in that division. Why couldn't he win that division or at least make a wild card? Yeah, that, that's exactly what I thought. He's the best quarterback in that division. There is no excuses. Ryan Tedahill is nowhere near the level of Watson. Phillip Rivers was a corpse. And don't even get me started on Jacksonville. And now he's demanding a trade. Get the fuck out of here, man. Sean Watson literally quitted on his team. And now... I'll get back to the Chiefs in a moment. But if the roles were reversed and Mahomes was on the Bears and Mitchell Trubisky was on the Chiefs, nothing would change for the Chiefs because they would still win that division. You're talking if the Chiefs had Mitchell Trubisky as their quarterback, they would win the division still. Because you're you're talking to a head coach that has won that division before with check down Alex Smith. Andy Reid could basically turn any could turn trash into gold. Mahomes is is a a system quarterback that that was brought into a right system. Okay. Watson, I don't want to... Don't even get me started on Watson. Okay. At the end of the day, Watson, are you winning games? Because Kyler Murray didn't do any... Didn't do anything with DeAndre Hopkins because they didn't go to the playoffs either. Are you kidding me, Deshaun Watson? You have better weapons than basically any of the teams that have more wins than you. Raiders, 49ers, Patriots, Ravens. Oh yeah, Steelers. The Steelers literally went to the playoffs. This is Big Ben's first season without Antonio Brown. Because last year he was hurt. They made the playoffs. The Browns. The Browns. They don't have Odell Beckham Jr., but they still made the playoffs and won a playoff game, and was a Chad. Who was who's that random and uh, who who was that random that started for Mahomes when he got injured? Uh, I think his name was like Chad or something. They were a Chad first down away from a trip to the NFC cha- uh, AFC Championship game. Okay, Watson has no excuses. Because if I told you many of the teams that have more wins than than the Texans, they would want to have the Texans wide receiver core. I know the Eagles, but they're tied with them. At least, well, 
you you know what I mean. Anyway, that's it. That's all. Subscribe. As always, my name is Butters, and I approve this message.